Hello by watching this video, my name is Jasper and welcome back to Pokemon Mega Power where in the last episode we went ahead and left off right here on this little weird island area or whatnot where I still really don't know what we're doing here and I feel like we missed a ton but uh, we're going to do a oh, real quick team recap considering the fact we actually haven't had to upgrade our levels and stuff like that I actually I was supposed to wasn't I I think I was supposed to upgrade our levels oh okay well we'll just go ahead and we go a little under I'll just wear candy real quick at the start of the video and stuff like that but uh, we have first off Karen our Gyarados level 56 with bite surf dragon dance and rain dance then we have next Sceptile level 58 with leaf blade screech fear cutter in pursuit then Metagross that, uh, with Iron Defense, Psychic, Meteor Mash, and Earthquake, level 56. Nelly at uh, 55 with Strength, Aries, Double Team, and Superpower. Then we have Blue at level 55 with Earthquake, Rock, Tomb, Crunch, and Dragon Claw. And finally, we have Blaze again at level 55 with Bulk Up, Brick Break, Slash, and Blaze Kick. Now, um, I'm going to just get real quick of all, uh, level everyone up. I think the 57 is where I kind of want to get everybody up to with the rare candies real quick. Um, considering the fact the battle in the last time. And then Sceptile is, like, Sceptile is just a little high, I feel like, on levels. So it shouldn't be too bad. I just wanted to get two levels and stuff like that here. That's the only thing I don't like this about this game. Is like I said, you, you kind of, you have to grind. If you don't have the element of rare candy glitch, you, glitch, you have to grind to consistently stay up in levels and stuff like that. And, like, not only grind, but grind hard. Like, there's a difference between grinding a Pokemon up that you caught in the wild that's, like, under level to your level and stuff like that versus having to, um... Like, you can't even play through the game regularly and, like, keep up with levels and stuff like that. That's a little... Like, I don't mind a little bit under, but, like, considering the fact after every single section we have to level up, it's kind of rough. But, we are continuing on with... We're going like, uh, to around with the Maniac. Okay, that, that's the fishing rod. Um, we didn't explore any of the houses. That was the big thing I wanted to do. Explore houses, because we, we didn't do that. So, let's go ahead and talk to some people real quick, please and thank you. Hello! How are you doing today? Because usually everybody uh, gives us free Pokemon stuff like that, and that's what I'm hoping to do. My son has a secret drawer, which he pulls out, uh, uh, puts all of his toys in, in, in a secret. Those toys uh, mean nothing to us grown-ups, but they mean everything for a little kid. I guess you can understand that. Uh, we all had a childhood after all. That's deep. Alright. Uh, don't touch my secret drawer. Stay away from me. I wouldn't say deep, but like, you know, sad. Kind of. All right, hello, give me Pokemon. Number one, Ranger. I should use Charmander. I can't let it. I'm just too young to ride by itself. But I'm too busy to care. Yes, I want to. Yes, I will in a minute. Hold up. Let me let me just let me the inventory slots and stuff like that. I will take a Charmander. I was I will never say no to a Charizard, especially a Charizard that can Mega Ball. So yes, please, thank you. Uh, storage system. No, I no wrong one. Uh Bill's PC. Move Pokemon. Yes, please, thank you. Um especially considering the fact that like that covers Blaziken and Nelly and then lets me put like Conkeller back on the team pretty much. That's kinda essentially what that would end up doing but uh just chill for one second place again as so we go ahead and get this charmander and get this charizard and like the idea of a mega charizard why i feel like would fit really well with the team um if i had to get rid of gear and i buy one the gear here is mega is too good right now especially dragon dance sweep and stuff like that so yes please give me give me give me charmander give me charmander I wish you still remember what uh, did you say before. It's your duty. What? Okay. Um, that seems a little odd, but okay. Charmander. <laughs> I am have level like 60s, and I'm about to have a level 5 Charmander in my PC and stuff like that. Just chilling right there. This is going to be wonderful. Uh, you can at least make it level 10 at this point, I feel like. Nope. Okay, never mind. Charmander and the Charmander. I still wish, too, I could, you know, change my names and stuff like that, but I haven't found a name reader at all so far, which kind of sucks. Um, you know, especially considering the fact probably in this game you need hard scale and all that, which I, I would rather not do, uh, to be really honest. But, okay, we found our Pokemon. Nobody else is really relevant anymore. Check out this horsey. It's a horsey that I caught yesterday. Remember that? Oh, you can see the one after all its prices. I'll tell you what. Might be willing to trade it for a bag on. No way! <laughs> I am not trading no horsey for a bag on. No, okay. My stomach son, uh, uh, just won't raise that Pokemon I gave him. Maybe, uh, he wants to, uh, aww. Oh, he's ungrateful. I'm gonna kick him. Alright, uh, reading uh, makes your life beautiful. What's your favorite book? Mine has gone with the wind. Margaret Mitchell, the writer, must have been uh, thoughtful and knowledgeable. My favorite book is Captain Underpants. And no, I have not actually read them. But, but I, I should have, but no. Uh, trust me, I saw a bunch of men wearing white hats and black glasses. Um, but I was not dreaming. It was the Dark Workers. They're back. Anyone help? Uh, I, I don't know what you mean. Do you see? Uh, any people? Of course you didn't. I'm not sure my I'm sure my boyfriend is just daydreaming. That's not how daydreaming works. When you daydream, you don't just see things like that. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, 
I am the Pokemon fan club's most important person, uh, Chairman's younger brother. Uh, I'm here enjoying a po uh, Pokemon. Okay. Ah, your Pokemon's clearly they like you very much. Pokemon is adoring, adorable. It's like this. You just go ahead and give me a return, because that would be very solid. Pokemon lets you a lot. Returns power is enhanced. Yes, please. Thank you. If it don't, uh, frustration power goes up. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. It appears to like. It doesn't appear to like the trainer very much. That's hilarious. First to be very friendly with the train. <laughs> oh god, okay. So a little frustration to return. Okay, got it. What's this place? Eggmaster's house. Yes. Yes. And the Eggmaster, why did I tell you my oh, I forgot. Only supposed to train. Uh, yeah. Are you like when I beat the champion, I'm guessing? Uh, was that where I got the Pokemon from? I'm pretty sure. The high and sin path or whatnot. So what's up here? Oh yeah. Tree looks like I uh, I I don't really feel like doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Anything else in Purse Lane Village? This little weird little town right here. All right, I don't think so. Um, who do I want to lead for a little bit? Because Karen don't definitely don't need a lead right now. We'll go ahead and leave Nelly for a bit because I don't think we've seen Nelly for a hot minute. Um, what? Wait, what? No, Nelly has strength right now. That's what it was. I was gonna say I'll teach her return instead, but no, I, I need strength on you. Um, unfortunately. Okay, what's up, old man? How you doing? All right, let's go ahead and take a look around here. I remember there's no Pokemon that really seemed any useful and stuff like that. So, hello, woman! Um, are you proud of your Pokemon? I don't care if they're strong or weak. I'm proud of them all. You shouldn't be. If they're weak, you should not be proud. You should make fun of them. Pokemon Jill would like to battle. Curlia. Great. I'll take that. As long as they ain't a full-on Gardevoir, I will 100% take that. Um, I will say, I do appreciate that. Because even though that... The levels are kind of absurd right now, considering the fact we're in fifth gym or whatnot, or level 60 and all that kind of stuff. I, I will still appreciate that at least you're not throwing super strong, fully evolved Pokemon at me all the time. Like, there's some, like, right here with Camera Up and all that. Well, yeah, it's fully evolved, but Camera Up's not the biggest deal in the world. But a Gardevoir could be really devastating to certain at certain points versus a Camera Up. Almost everyone has a water type, if not a Pokemon with a water type move. So it's just like. It's not the biggest to be else. So those camera up isn't as strong as, of course, Gardevoir is. So it's just, it's, it's, I will take it. I mean, as, as long as you're not going to throw them at pseudos and stuff like that at me. Until we're at the point where we're at the seventh gem or something like that, like sixth, seventh gem. Uh, either defeat the sixth gem or defeat the seventh gem in that kind of range. Um, I, I do not mind. I mean, it's the level spike still annoying, but like, especially because, you know, considering the fact the big battles are like, they throw me off and stuff like that. Hello, how are you doing today, scientist sir? Uh, please don't look at me. Huh? You're a scientist too? Well, I was nervous. T I was too nervous. Huh? That seems like some disrespect. Okay. Persian. That was not ex at all what I was expecting out of a um out of a the uh <laughs> out of a scientist and stuff like that. You guys are supposed to have you know the whole um shebang with steel types and electric types usually screech can you not i'd really rather you not persian do that to me please and thank you goodbye i will see you later i'll see you in another dimension please no, i forgot to turn the tv off that was that's interesting i hope that you guys haven't heard that i don't think you do wait hold up yeah no i don't think you do all right cool <laughs> wait oh i don't even know what pokemon was coming out that's I should have I should have swapped and stuff like that. I don't. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely should have swapped in this situation. Okay. Um. Hello. Um. Uh, trick and all that <laughs> and stuff like that. Thank you for turning off the TV. Even though <laughs> I probably don't need it because it didn't seem like it was popping up a thing. Bite really? Okay. It didn't seem like it was popping up on my mic, but oh, if that's the case, though, if it doesn't pop up on my mic, you can actually watch TV at like a low volume from time to time. Even though you know. Can't really see it. Alright, earthquake. I mean, can't really hear it, especially when not over my voice, but sometimes nice. Kind of nuts to me how Metagross could out speed him in that I'm not gonna lie. I mean, are they like similar speed? I know Metagross, of course, is still four levels above it, but like four levels is not that crazy of a difference at this point in time, so it's just like, it's funny to me. Alright, hello, water. I don't need no water. Hello, trainer, woman. You should, be, uh, you should be happy, trainer, because you'll lose the best trainer around here. Who's that trainer? It's me, of course. I sincerely doubt that. I'm not going to lie. I sincerely doubt you're going to that. Okay. Rhyperior. That's an interesting choice. I'm not going to lie. I will say, though, 
I'm a killer. <laughs> I'm a very much killer. Hi, Karen. Can you help me with this, um, problem? He's a, he's a very, very annoying... He's a very hard worker. You should go ahead and annoy him, please. Especially with the double intimidate. Great, thank you. That's still hilarious to me, that, uh, the idea of Karen with intimidate. This is great. It's great. So, it's so good. So good. Alright. So, let's go ahead and surf the mess out of this thing. Please. I was gonna say, I always said please, like, I was thinking, like, it wouldn't kill. It critted, too. Oh, my God. You did, like, triple the amount of damage you probably need to actually kill that thing. That probably did three times the amount of damage. That's hilarious. Halucha. Yeah, not to keep you in there. Um, Metagross is actually really good in this situation, but can I go to... No, blue would be bad. It's just kind of gross. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, blue will rock slide him, but no, he will uh, body press me and kill me, probably. I would not be shocked. He's probably gonna be, what, level 54? Level 50, 53. Okay, cool. Oh, left is gonna heal me almost all the way up, so I'll take that very much too as well. Alright. Psychic! God, you're faster. Why? Why? Why'd you have to be faster? I thought you were like the same speed as Minetric. Isn't Minetric like 110? I know it goes up to 130 when the Mega Balls, but I thought it was like 110. Alright. Hit me with the fly. Hit me with the 15 damage, 17 damage. If I would have known you were faster, I would have iron defense real quick and then made you do literally nothing to me. But you know what? I guess not. I guess we can't have nice things then. Alright. I'm getting no experience. Jesus Christ. Why am I only getting a thousand experience from Pokemon in level 50s? It's kind of kind of not right, I think. I'm pretty sure that is not correct. I've learned so much. But, um, if you're not a good student, you'll never win. I win all the time. All I do is win, win, win. No matter what. Got money on my mind. I can never get enough. So let's step up in this building. And everybody's hands go up. And they stay there. And this Butterfree's about to go down. Okay, yep, great. I did my music joke for the day. Even though it was horrible. I still, I still, I'm still the best. I'm still the genuine best. Alright, thank you. Ninjas, I actually got a, um... The type of trainer where my, um, Nelly can sweep a little bit. Air ice. Please, oh, baton pass? What? Araquanin? That doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't help anyone in that situation, Ninjask. I don't know what you were trying to do, but okay. Oh, you survived! I'm impressed. I'm so impressed, Araquanin. I, I appreciate it. I genuinely appreciate that effort you were trying to do to stay alive. It's ge I'm, I'm genuinely proud of you. I guess Illusia just gives no experience because you just gave 1700. I just noticed that. Airily slashed. Can you not? I really appreciate if you just, like, didn't do that. That'd be great. Okay. Oh, okay. I crit. I don't think I need a crit, considering the fact I think... Considering the fact I think Ninjask has no experience or whatnot, but okay. Whatever. That's not right. I mean, no defense. Uh, that's not right. You shouldn't have won. Right, no. Of course. I, I always win. Like I said. That was a whole joke going into the battle and stuff like that. I don't... I don't... I don't know what you mean. Hi. You know, old man with receding hairline. How are you doing today? I, I, I kind of want to fight you. Um, I'm going to swap out. Let's lead with blue. I haven't seen blue, like, almost at all. Blue's actually been a horrible matchup for most of these Pokemon so far. It has been brutal for blue to see the playing field as of late. Alright. Live Bard. I don't care, really. Like, at all. And stuff like that. To be perfect. Honest. Oh! And I forgot! Actually, this is actually perfect to uh, show and stuff like that. I just got a new tattoo, um, and stuff like that, and I, I don't really like show it off. I, 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 honestly, I wouldn't really like showing off my tattoos, because obviously I do. I think anybody who gets a new tattoo like showing off, off to an extent, but like, I don't want to be like super overly crazy about it. The only reason I bring it up is because it is a Pokemon tattoo. I got the... Uh, how is it? How are you guys going to see it? Okay, I think you can see it from there a little bit, but I got Pokemon. I got... The sprites colored in. It's awesome. It doesn't look clear right now because I still have the bandage over it a little bit. But I, I just wanted to. I thought you guys would find that somewhat interesting, like kind of cool, considering the fact. Yeah. I mean, if, if this is upside down, uh, you can see it there um, and stuff. But like I said, it's obviously it's upside down, so it's, it's hard to see. But uh, yeah, I got I got sprites and stuff, and it's cool, and I love it, and I, I'm really happy with it. And my artist did a phenomenal job. And it was like four hours and stuff like that. It wasn't too, too bad. So, you know, not very effective. I think it was very effective. Um, very effective in me killing you. Thank you. Great. Lovely. Um, and of course, like, I think, I don't know exactly or not, but I think Bulbasaur 
Star Raptor has been my favorite Pokemon for a while, but I think Bulbasaur in the Venusaur line and stuff like that might be overtaking it. Um, Bulbasaur, I think, is my favorite Pokemon in general. Possibly now. Is, uh, Bulbasaur is definitely my favorite starter. Uh, I will say that. Bulbasaur is far and away my favorite starter. And I would never expected Bulbasaur to be my favorite starter, but Bulbasaur is my favorite starter. Because um, I, I started with Gen 5, and then I played like Gen 4, I played like Gen 6, played all these games before I had Bulbasaur and stuff like that. I even picked Squirtle in X and Y. No. I picked Bulbas. I did pick Bulbasaur in X and Y. That was after I played um, Red and Green for the. Uh, Red and Blue for the first time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. I played Gen. I played Red. Um, after playing like Black and White and a whole bunch of games for a while and stuff like that, and playing Red, it's gonna sound so stupid, but I saw Bulbasaur's little face and his little smile, and I was like, "You are so adorable." Because I I had always thought I would 100% go Squirtle because I always liked the Water type starters. Usually, I always pick the Water type starters. Um, but I was like, I need this little guy on my team because <laughs> I just see Bulbasaur sort of like he is adorable. Like he was so adorable, I couldn't, I couldn't not help myself, and I had to go ahead and uh, get um, uh, Bulbasaur and stuff like that. And ever since then, Bulbasaur has always done and Venusaur, Bulbasaur and Venusaur, Bubba was in my last series and stuff like that. There's always done so much work for me, and it's been always so great. I can't help but love it. Bulb uh, Venusaur and Togekiss as well from like Happy from my other series and stuff like that. And Star Raptor's always been one of my favorite favorite Pokemon and it's just like the more and more I play with some of these Pokemon the more and more I love them it, it, it's great it's so much fun this is gonna be stupid but I'm gonna stay in against you I'm going to Dragon Claw you know I don't think you can kill me from here I think no matter what you do it doesn't kill me so I'm not too worried about it rain dance that's annoying though that is very annoying that is very annoying and now if you swift sim and use like a rain move then I'm going to cry I mean a water move then I'll cry but, I think I'm still fine. Le and Leftover should be able to get me in a spot where I'm okay. Nice. No Swift Sim. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. See you in my life. Alright. Next is Leaf Yawn. Odd. Okay. Um, Nelly, I guess, again. Please and thank you, because Blaziken's... Little mess... Uh, I'm not a big fan of Blaziken in the rain, even though... I don't think Leaf Yawn can do anything to... Um, plays again anyways, but I, I just rather not, I guess to say, because I don't think Leaf Hunt gets thunder or anything. As long as I say anything, then I'm fine. But it's still a very smart move. It's still a very smart rain move, rain dance move. Like, if this is a rain team, that's that's kind of cool. I do enjoy stuff like that, just popping up randomly in the course of the game, like people being smart enough to go ahead and use like theme teams and stuff like that. I knew that wasn't a kill, but this should be fine. Sunny Day. Never mind, this may <laughs> this may not be a smart team. This may genuinely be a stupid team. This may be an absolute group of idiots at this point in time, because why why okay. Okay. I guess. Unless you have more grass types with like all that kind of stuff, but even then I'm just gonna throw a Blaziken out and sweep you at this rate, if that's the case. I I'm not afraid to go just go ahead and hit the Blaziken button right now. Oh. I thought you had like two more Pokemon. Why did I think you had four Pokemon? Why on God's green or why why on God's green earth did I think you had four Pokemon and you only hit okay all right I'm going crazy that's fine no Skarmory I don't care I do not care I have zero zero levels to care I have absolutely zero okay Cotton I, I care about you a little bit uh, but other than that I have zero zero levels to care um but oh god I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, I, I need to look back at some of my old series and stuff like that and see like some of my Pokemon that really came through because honestly it's been so long I kind of forget that I do remember happy. I do remember Bubba, I, but I, I don't think I, I don't remember how I even remember anyone from Blaze like, There are some real heavy hitters. That I genuinely love because of that cluff key. That's cool so If you have prankster, that's actually really cool. Um, oh god. Why? Why can you not can you just like not exist, please? Thank you. Okay, super repel time super repel time. I swear to god super please 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 thank you um, I only have five left. Okay, I might have to buy some soon then. All right. Um, well, let's make our move on this way. Um, but yeah, I kind of need to look back at the, some of that because there are some Pokemon that I really love because of the series and stuff like that, and I kind of forget it. And I know that's kind of sad, but like it's just kind of how the case is and stuff like that. And also, uh, competitive battling. 
uh, makes me fall in love po with Pokemon sometimes too. Like random battles and stuff like that has always done that. Pokemon Go as of late as well made me fall in love with a certain Pokemon a little bit more and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I also talking about Unbound, uh, Cell, with Tyranitar. I think Tyranitar might have became... I always loved Tyranitar and stuff like that. I always really liked Tyranitar, but like, I think Tyranitar might have became my favorite pseudo because of that series and stuff like that. Like, it just put in so much work. And there were other Pokemon throughout the course of that game that helped out severely that I, I unfortunately just kind of forget. And I'll have to go back and look at it and stuff to really reflect on some of the Pokemon that I really, really enjoyed and I really, really, really loved. Um, especially when it comes to those final teams and stuff like that. Um, and so far, like, in this series, like, Sceptile is a Pokemon I'm starting to love a lot more. That I really had, I really kind of, I would say I, I disliked for a while, um, like honestly and stuff like that. Like the Mega was cool and all that, but I never really had any interest in it um, past the whole he's the third Hoenn starter. Like I only really, I really only liked um, Marshtomp to be, I mean uh, Swampert to be completely honest. I, I, I really, I just respect Blaziken because how strong it was and stuff like that, and I thought it was cool with the speed boost and stuff like that, and I like the fast sweepers. Um, but Sceptile was like a Pokemon I never was, was like way into until like this series so far. Same with um, Conkeldur. conkeldur has been phenomenal and stuff like that. Excadrill was always one of my favorite before so with Drill Burst. So that's why I was a little sad that Drill Burst um, went and uh, died. But other than that, hi Tyrantrum. Do you want to go ahead and meet Tyrantrum? Uh, how, how, how may you be doing today? I think you can oak out. Buddy, I think you can. I don't think it'll be. I think it'll be close, but I think you know, Cal. Nope. All right. Never mind. That's a stupid move. Okay. Very stupid move. You either could have done a super effective dragon move against me, or you could have done a neutral rock type move against me, which both would have been better than crunch. Okay. Great. Good job. Good job, Tyrantrum. Babarico. This should be an Oko, a quick Oko, but yes, Sceptile has definitely gone way up on my um, favorite Pokemon list, just solely because of this game so far and how much work he's put in for me. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, leaf Blade, please. I'd like one Leaf Blade, please. I'd like to take you out very quickly. Swipe to the left, swipe to the right, and swipe you away. Thank you very much. Um, slow, bro. I can stay in. I'll stay in. Um, and then who else on Pokemon Go, real quick, because uh, I'm, uh, there's some, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of blanking on stuff like that, like, it's really hard right now, but there are a few Pokemon on Pokemon Go that I'm just going to take a quick look at on my phone, uh, that I started to love a lot more after that, um, Excadrill is another Pokemon I use on, like, my, um, 2500 CP team all the time and stuff like that, crit, thank you, um, Haxorus always liked before, right here, uh, right here I'm starting to like a lot more because of Pokemon Go, I always thought right here it was like, eh, I guess, and then because of Pokemon Go, um, being one of my highest CP in Pokemon is always, is, is really enjoyable and stuff like that. Um, who else is up there? Um, I'm going to take a look at my 1500 CP team and stuff like that to get an idea. Uh, I always liked Gardevoir, who's one of my members and stuff like that. I was always liked Victini, who's also another, one of my members of the 1500 CP team. Wishcash, that's another one of my members of the 1500 CP team. Now, I always kind of liked Wishcash because I always liked groundwater types, to be completely honest. I always thought they were very good. Um, but, um, Nugget, thank you. I appreciate it. Give me Nugget. Alright. Uh, I thought that was a tunnel for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, that tripped me up. I learned to say that where the wind flows, it's gonna be a flying type gem. If that's the case, then blue, you might be having a good time coming up here. You might actually, this might be perfect timing for you. If we're really honest, blue and Metagross to an extent um, would be pretty good in here. And that's kind of about it, to be honest. If I run into anything else, I'm gonna be a little scared. Um, I mean, obviously, Karen's good in these situations and stuff like that, so. Let me take a look around, see if there is a gym in here. So, I'm guessing there has to be. No, I don't want to use another one. Yep, gym. Knew it. I 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 knew it. Flying type gym. Cool. I'll take it. Blue, you're going to have to hit a lot of rock tombs. Because I don't think you get stone age or anything like that. Hello. Jacques is my favorite. Uh, is my hero. He saved me from the dark workers. Tried to burn my house. Uh, I believe that most people in the city regard him as a hero. Okay. I'll go. How many I start with you? I need items. I need very much items. Max potions. I don't really want to get any max potions because, you know, fuller stores are just the best things for you to get in general, so. Um. I kind of just want to grab some super repels, but I guess not. 
Never mind. Too hopeful, I guess. Very much so. That sucks. Okay. All right. Let's take a look around. I want to see if I'm finding another Pokemon. If you give me a flying type Pokemon, that'd be cool. So I'm writer in series. New dice. Have you ever read my books? You no, know, just thought. I'm just. Uh, I'm not famous at the present. Okay. Um, who else is up and around here? Usually it's actually somebody outside. So let me actually real quick add this person right here. This is when most of the winter vice. So we'll kind of clean. Okay. Um, hello. Give me stuff. This city's not as big as Berlin, so it's also too big for me. Where's my friend's house? All right. Well, you're just lost. Hello. Give me a good. Uh, great rod. I'm sure the dinner will be great. Okay. Never mind. We got so many fish. I didn't only eat fish for dinner, but I has to forget to do groceries today. Oh, when I'm supposed to know. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. That is genuinely unfortunate. Um, this so like this. Like I already said, this city is basically pretty well, but it's still huge. My brother loves Pokemon. Um, he always uh, brings back home his Pokemon. Unfortunately, uh, he's not a trainer, so he gave so many Pokemon he resourced um, as a trainer. I think he's a gift uh, for bringing Pokemon. Oh, oh, free Pokemon. It's big on his shoe. Bagon is so cute! It seems like it's trying to fly all the time, but it doesn't have any wings. Poor Bagon, what can I do for it? Maybe I should evolve in Salmon. Salmon can fly. Sadly, I'm not a trainer. If possible, will you help me? Yes! 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 <laughs> yes, a thousand times yes! As Salamence as Bag- Oh my god. You're you're trying to give me too broken of a team. Because then I could theoretically put Salamence over blue. That would be great in this situation. But what if I did? I'm curious. Hold up. Uh, I'm gonna move some Pokemon around real quick. Blue, you're too good for this gym, I think, right now. But no, no, let's draw. Move on one. Who could theoretically join in that situation and not add any more weaknesses? Like, Blaze again, come chill, come chill again. No, no, come, come chill again, Blaze again, please. Thank you. Um, in that case, in that case, I could also put just move Ther Fer Ferrothorn in. Perceptile, and then put Ampharos in, or get a Jolteon, or I could do a God. Okay, yeah, I would have some type of options. Or Lucario, and no, I wouldn't need Lucario because he'd do both types. Um, or just put Trucker in there, the Mew. There's so many things I could do. There's so many things I could do. I think I'd still need like a better Pokemon for me to completely move my team around over Ampharos. I like Ampharos, don't get me wrong. Um, Ampharos is cool. I use Ampharos all the time because I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver so much. Like, as to, uh, like too much. I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver and stuff like that. Especially considering they're not that good of games in this landscape of Pokemon. I love them. I absolutely love them. But uh, they're obviously the, the level curve and all that stuff and like gym, you know, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, but, I promise that you evolve it. You promise you keep it. Yes, I will keep. My problem is you you know for a fact that Salamence is going to be on my team at some point. There ain't no way Salamence is not going to be on my team at some point. Somebody's going to die at some point, and that thing's going to go straight on there. Uh, trainer system. And then I could have the ability to get Mega Salamence too, even though it's not that great. You know, it's just, oh my god. Alright, Bagon, come chill. Come through and chill, my boy. Right there. Who would have fit really well in my box of people that died already? Uh, Excadrill, Raichu would have been great. Manetric and Bolt would have been great. You know, Swampert would have been great. Mayweather, not so much. Sea Biscuit would have been great. Azumarill would have been fine. If I get like a super strong fairy type, I might have to consider that swap around and put Salamence in over Blue and Nelly and basically take their swaps and then put a fairy a super strong like fairy type in there. Especially if we get like a fairy type that can be like a Mawile and get Mega Mawile, that might be kinda nuts. But at the same time I, I need Mega Gyarados or else my team parody all like screws up and stuff like that. Alright. What else is in this town? Hello, hiker dude. Senor, sore, sir. Really, the city you don't know. I understand this travel you spins uh new things, so do I. I'm not surprised at all when I saw this movie. Okay. Um ooh, you have a thing. Battle room. No, don't feel like doing that right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, da 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 da. Oh, Lander City. Ball rack pad. Okay, cool. Bladder rack. That's a, that's a name if I ever seen one. That looks like a fight if I've ever seen one. All right, I'm good for now. I'm gonna end off this episode. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm, I will go ahead and get everybody stronger. Wait, 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 wait. I kind of forgot. The gym's just kind of open, isn't it? Oh, oh God. 
Zirok! I forget your name. Zirok, what are you doing here? Uh, that's my question. What are you doing here? Me? Well, I'm here for my old friend. It's your turn now, Zirok. What are you doing here? It could be a little hard to explain. All you need to know is I'm going to challenge this gym for some sort of quest. You mean you want to challenge Jacques? <laughs> then you must be disappointed then. Uh, well, maybe there's still a chance to, uh, chance. Good luck, Zirok. You can find me at the power plant if you need my help. I wish you could cheer him up. I don't like the sounds of that. Jock, I'm about to beat you senseless with a tyrantrum. Hopefully, but I don't like the sounds of that. But yeah, I can always just Gyarados sweep if I need to, because, you know, that's broken. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna this video here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other path in the next video, because that seems like a major fight or something over there. Um, I don't know if I want to level up people. I I'm not quite sure what I want to do exactly right now. Um, I think I might go to 60 eventually. I feel like that gym's probably gonna be pushing 60. Uh, but I'm not gonna go to that in this video. I'll probably go challenge the guys to the left side, um, with the team levels I have now, and then challenge the gym, something like that. Other than that, though, I say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoyed it, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.